This is Lynn from Bags for You on Etsy, and today we're going to demonstrate how to spin a rollay. I pulled out a couple of my favorite antique wheels, and because I'm going to spin it on this 1800s gossip wheel, it's called a gossip or a bride's wheel because they were given as gifts to brides when they got married or a master's wheel because if you're really an expert you can spin on both at the same time. They were I think made to spin flax. Um, I just like to spin on one side or the other. Also this is a little another one of my favorites. It's a little carriage wheel from the 1700s and the reason it's called a carriage wheel is the top lifts off and sits in your lap and then you can hand crank it instead of using a treadle. I, mean, I can't imagine using that a few hundred years ago in a covered wagon or whatever, but I guess that was the theory behind it. Anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is take one of our lap cloths. These are available in our shop and to keep the fibers off my black pants. Um, here's one of our roll legs. So you just unwind it. You can spin from either end and I'm going to use one of our spinning wheel hooks and pull the fiber through the orifice. We have these available for, you know, uh, smaller ones for antique wheels or regular ones for modern wheels. And you just attach your roll leg and start spinning. These roll legs we blend on our blending board. We only use the finest, softest merino, and we have all these wonderful add-ins we add. This one has silk noils, um, silk, uh, bamboo, uh, mohair locks, um, and they just spin really nice whether you're using spindles or a wheel. They work really well for beginners too because they draft so nicely. It's one of my favorite preps for spinning. So, oh, and I don't want to forget to mention my socks. These are made on a turn of the century antique sock machine. We also have these available. So I hope you'll visit our shop. So thank you so much for joining us and happy spinning.